Good morning. So I'm excited. I have a dear friend of mine who is an, an, an emergency room medical doctor and um, we were playing catch up today and I was telling him about how there's so much misinformation uh, and, and started asking questions and realized, man, this would be a, a great opportunity for us to get together. And if you'd be so kind to get on my show and help clear up some of this misinformation, that'd be awesome. And he agreed to. However, when we got together, we realized that there is a lot of information and it can be a little overwhelming to try to do that in one video. So we agreed to do an introduction and we're going to break this into a few different segments and, um, and go from there. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to my dear friend, Dr. David Pinto. Hello, my name is Dr. David Pinto. I'm an emergency physician from Austin, Texas. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend, Kale Snyder, for inviting me today to discuss uh, different uh, perspectives of coronavirus and uh, the management of this disease and uh, what we can all do to get through this together. Um, we've been having some interesting conversations over the past few days and uh, it's been pretty frustrating and eye-opening to see how much uh, misinformation is available in the community currently. And uh, unfortunately, this is impeding our ability to take care of patients and to inform the public. Um, first off, uh, about myself, uh, my name is David Pinto. I'm an emergency physician. Uh, I went to medical school at the University of Texas in Houston and uh, did my residency in emergency medicine and my fellowship in emergency ultrasound at Resurrection Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois. I've been in clinical practice for about 10 years. I am board certified um, by the American Board of Emergency Medicine. Uh, as Kale mentioned, there are a lot of topics that we have to discuss, and I look forward to speaking with all of you and uh, supplying you with useful and current and correct information uh, so that we can all get through this pandemic together. Uh, there are several topics that we would like to discuss. The importance of masks, of testing, how can we safely open schools and businesses, and how can we all help each other to flatten the curve and to um, survive this pandemic. Uh, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to place them in the comments and uh, we would love to respond to them. I look forward to talking with all of you and uh, sharing some information and my experience with taking care of COVID patients in the emergency department uh, in Texas. And um, I look forward to speaking with all of you soon. All right, guys. So, um... You know, my initial thought whenever I, I, I came over here to meet with my buddy, um, you know, I thought we were just going to record this and have the conversation because my conversation went so well. He explained things so simply that, that, that were so easy to understand and, and he, he clarified so much for me that I thought, you know, we need to, we need to do a video and, 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 and uh, make this easy for everyone else to understand. Uh, so again, I thought we were just going to do one video for all this and we realized that there's a lot of information and it would be helpful to be a, a little better prepared. Uh, so we're going to break this down into segments. So um, as David mentioned, uh, if you guys have any specific questions uh, that it's possible that maybe I didn't think to ask him, uh, put those in the comments and that way we can address those in one of the different segments that we do. So uh, this is just a little intro video. I'm excited uh, to, to come back to this and, and, and uh, provide you guys with a lot of clarification. Stay tuned. Cheers.